Lions TV, this is your pre-match prediction for Saturday's home game against Sheffield United at the Den. You don't need me to tell you that this game's absolutely massive. Oh, it's fucking massive. One of the biggest games under Neil Harris's reign for him so far. Let's take a look at the 11 that I think the Gaffer's going to pick to start the match. I think it's going to be back to what we do and what we know best. I think it's going to be Ben Amos in goal. Marlon Romeo right back. James Meredith left back. Jake Cooper with Byron Webster alongside him in the centre of defence. Centre midfield, Sean Levon Williams with a lend dog alongside him. Jed Wallace on the right, the onion bag on the left. And up front, Steve Morrison and Lee Gregory. Is that the 11 that I would pick? Yes, it is. I think that's the team Harris will pick. I think that's the team we should pick. I think we've got to get back to basics and we've got to get back to what we know we're capable of, which is high intensity, pressure, sticking it right on Sheffield United and, and, and going right at them. And I think with that team, we'll have that. You'll have Marlon Romeo bombing on, getting on beyond Jed and, and linking up with him really well. And also Aidan O'Brien, I just think he's, he's going to score goals. Uh, I, I've said this before, away from home, he's not so great. At home, I think Aidan has to start and wasn't over impressed with Skalak, even though it's only one start for him, to be fair to Skalak. You need a, a run of games to get into it, but... I just think you know what you're going to get with Aiden. You've got a great chance of getting on the score sheet with him. And I think that that's the team he'll go with. Up front, I think Gregors has to start. Uh, you know, again, nothing against Tom Bradshaw. Again, I haven't seen enough of him, nowhere near enough of him to, to comment in the long run. But what my mate said, he's stuck in my mind. And it's absolutely hit the nail on the head. He's, he's not going to be better than Lee Gregory. I think Gregory will do the business this Saturday if he's played. And I think that's the team that Neil Harris will go with, if I'm honest. So yeah, back to basics and hopefully back to winning ways in front of a, a very nervy den, if we're honest. As I said, that's the team I think he'll pick. That's the team that I would pick. That is slightly harsh on, on a few players and I just want to mention them. Conor McLaughlin for me is a good player, great defender. But I just think that Marlon will get beyond Jed Moore in the overlap. He'll offer more attacking going forward wise. So unfortunately, I think that Romeo will get in front of him. In the midfield, Scalak, as I just said, he gives us a different dimension. He can get balls into the box, but he seemed quite lightweight against against West Brom. And I just think Aiden will be there. He gets forward more. He's, he's, he's definitely, possibly the best finisher at the club, Aiden. So I just think for his goal threat, he'll be in. But it's, it's harsh on Skalak, but I just think he needs a run of games in a confident winning side. And at the minute, we're not that. So I think Aiden will get the nod. And then up front, obviously, Tom Bradshaw. But not just to mention Tom Bradshaw, I want to mention Tom Elliott, who's actually scored seven goals in 16 starts. Now, I've been critical of Elliott in the past. And, I, you know, I've, said he, I've maybe been a bit harsh. He's said he's a donkey, etc. He's, he's not the most talented, greatest football you ever see. But sometimes these, these, these clumsier players and more deliberate players, they get goals. And, and, and every time he's come on lately, he has looked like a threat. His goal record from starts, you can't really argue with. So even Tom Elliott could be pushing for a start Saturday. Moving on to the opposition, managed, of course, by Chris Wilder. They came up with us two seasons ago. They won the league. We cut in the playoffs. And they started last season very well before fading away. And we ended up having a better season than them. They are, however, coping a lot better with second season syndrome than we are. They currently sit fourth in the table. They've lost only one of their last seven league games. Last time out, winning 3-2. At home to Preston. This is your pre-match prediction and here we go. This is going to be a very tough one to call and I may sound like a wally, I may sound like a broken record but I think we're going to get our season back on track this Saturday. There is no other option than for us to win this game. We need a victory and I think the players will come good. I think they'll turn our season around with Lee Gregory and Aidan O'Brien to score our goals in a 2-1 win. I will quickly see, I don't usually retweet stuff on Twitter, I just usually post my stuff but I've been seeing a lot Looking through the timeline a lot lately, I've seen a lot of conflicting things. Harris in, Harris out. Come on, let's be serious. It's got to be Harris in, 100%. We've had a fantastic 18 months to two years. And, and as, uh, as the gaffer rightly said in his post-match after Fulham on Wednesday, you're going to have bad spells. And because we haven't had a bad spell, really, people are, and they're having, you know, they're having meltdowns. We've had a fantastic reign under New Harris. Just remind you, we had Ian Holloway and Steve Lomas in, but previous to him... He's taken us to Wembley twice in championship playoff finals. He's took us to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup and he's got us one promotion. So this season, in my opinion, is a season that we should have been having last season when we nearly made the playoffs again, just to remind you all. It's a problem we've got. Our tactics aren't great. When they work, they're fantastic, but they're not working in a minute. 
And for me, Harris is absolutely the man for the job, but we do need to find a better and fresh approach to those football matches. So Harris in, come on you Lions, wake up. So that's your lot for this pre-match prediction. I said I'd give Robbie Ryan's shirt away today, and I've come home from work for an hour to film this, and I don't know where the shirt is, I think I've left it at work. So I'll give Robbie Ryan's match-worn shirt from his days at Millwall, I'll give that away in Sunday's post-match. Sorry, it's not a get-up, but I genuinely will give it away to a subscriber of the channel. So if you're not subscribing, I can go onto my laptop, I can look down and I can see exactly who's subscribing and who's not. So I'm going to pick someone off that list and I definitely will give it away Sunday. Yeah, sorry about that, my error. But there you go. Before Sunday is Saturday. It's massive. Millwall versus Sheffield United at the Den. I hope to see you there. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.